welcome to Gradient Tutorials. My name is James and I'm on the Gradient team here at Paperspace. Today I'll be hosting a session on setting up a notebook for using Clip It Pixel Draw within Gradient on our notebooks product. If you are unfamiliar with it, Pixel Draw is a part of the Pixray project, which I recommend you all check out, that allows users to generate novel pixel art based on an inputted text prompt. For details on how that works, I suggest you read through the associated article on the blog below. But now that we've introduced the topic, let's get started with setting up our notebook. The first thing you need to do is to set up a project in Gradient. Uh, once you're in your new project, you should go ahead to the Notebooks tab, which you can see here is on the far left, and select Create to make your new notebook. Once we are in the Notebooks creation page, uh, first, select TensorFlow as our runtime. This will give us access to the underlying TensorFlow libraries we need to run the notebook and minimize the installs that we need to do before running the actual pixel draw script. I recommend that you choose a good GPU for your machine. Uh, we're going to be salt. We're going to be working with an expensive problem here computationally, so I recommend a more powerful processor. Um, for example, on a P4000, I was able to do the full training in 10 minutes. So I recommend, if possible, that you go more powerful than that. For today, we're just going to work on a P4000. Set my auto shutdown. Finally, click on the Advanced Options button, which is shown right here, to open up the Workspace and Container Options and change your container name to be paper space slash clip dash pixel draw colon Jupiter. This is a container that we made so that you can run this project on paper space gradient. And you will definitely need to have this container if you're going to run your notebook. Last thing is we have created a public repository for this project. And if you want to save yourself quite a bit of time in copying and pasting, I recommend that you input it as your workspace and URL here, and that will automatically download all the relevant scripts and notebooks from the Gradient AI repo into our new notebook repo. So once that's all done, let's start up our notebook. All right, once your notebook has started up, navigate to the IPython notebook pixel draw by using the files navigation over in the top left. In there, I need you all to run the first cell to install the needed libraries for Pixel Draw to actually run. Uh, these include Clip, Taming Transformers, which VQGAN comes from, and Clip It. Once you've done so, navigate to the actual pixeldraw.py script, again, using that file section on the top left. Here is our script. Um, first, you can see here we're appending all the relevant paths. And next, we have this run the script section. This is where we have all of our settings variables for Clip It. Uh, these settings ultimately will affect the image output of Pixel Draw, so I definitely recommend you learn these and edit them as needed. Uh, the first and arguably most important setting here is the prompts variable. This is where users are able to input their own text values to be used by Clip to assess the accuracy of the generated image. You can submit any text prompt here and the pixel drawer script will attempt to visually recreate that prompt to the best of its ability. Up next, we have aspect. Aspect determines the shape of the outputted image, and it has two options, widescreen for a rectangular 500 by 280 pixel image and square. Finally, we have use pixel draw, which is set to true. This ensures that the script uses the correct drawing function to generate our images in pixel form. Another example of another drawer would be ViewQGAN drawer. And these are all available within Clipit. Now that we have our settings, we import Clipit itself and add the relevant settings among a few more conventional parameters like number of iterations to train on and how often to display a sample image during training. You can see that being done here. And here. Finally, we actually apply those settings using the apply settings method, initialize clip it with those settings, and do the run. 
All right. Now that we have set up our pixel draft script, let's head back to the notebook. By now, definitely all of our installs should be complete. So we can scroll down here to this little cell, which will use line magic to run the pixel draw.py script, and then take an image we generate from that out as output.png, and then output it here below as such. Uh, at this point, you may run into a small problem. Uh, there are several libraries that need to be installed in order to go along with Clip It to make it work. And if you are just installing this, it may give you problems for that. I will have a snippet below this video in the article containing all the needed libraries that need to be installed, but they can also be determined by repeatedly trying to run the script. Once all the needed installs are complete, the script is run and the models are trained. The cell should output a generated image corresponding to your text prompt. And that's it. Now that you've seen how to build your own text to pixel image generator in action, you can go in and create your own art. Notebooks are also shareable publicly. As we can see here in the top right, you can just copy this. So feel free to share your awesome new artwork with your friends and the notebook itself with your fellow data scientists. Uh, thank you all so much for listening. I hope you have a great day.